Hello, in this presentation I will explain how to program ABB robots using Rapid Language. This is the first video of a set of mini tutorials to learn how to program in Rapid. The aim of this introductory video is to learn the basic instructions for programming in Rapid. Specifically, we will focus on programming syntax, definition of variables and constants, the use of operators, functions and procedures, as well as flow control instructions and some basic interrupt handling. The robot controller executes uh, program modules that contain procedures and functions that also contains a set of instructions, as we will see later. Each module must have a main procedure called main that will serve as the entry point. The main module um, or in the main module we can call another procedure, let's say such as my procedure in the, in the code example provided. Modules can have a set of variables and constants usually defined at the beginning of the module, such as target configurations for robot motion instructions. Some instructions could have been placed directly in the main procedure, although it is advisable to properly organize your code with uh, procedures and functions so you can get a better code readability and organization. Here I show some general rules for rapid, rapid language. All instructions will generally end with a semicolon except for keywords such as proc and while among other keywords because they have another keyword that indicates when this instruction ends such as in this, in this case end proc and end while respectively. If we want to make comments in Rapid we must use the exclamation mark. Rapid is not case sensitive but it is recommended to use uppercase keywords or for keywords and a lowercase for the rest of instructions. In addition the use of line indentation is also recommended for a better code readability and organization. Rapid includes three basic data types which are num that can store integer numbers or real numbers, string that allows you to store text strings and bool that allows you to store boolean variables such as true or false. You can also define numeric data such as bytes uh, and other alien names based on these three types. Rapid allows you to store data in variables using the var keyword, but information can also be persistently stored using the purse keyword. The difference is that the purse variables keep their, valuable, their, their value even when the program is stopped. Constants are declared with the const keyword and they need to be assigned at the time of their declaration and cannot be modified later. Variables can take different values, obviously. So, to assign a new value to a variable, we can use the assignment operation with a double, uh, dot, uh, double colon and equal sign operator. So, here I show some simple examples declaring some variables and assigning values to them or declaring a constant, in this case the constant pi. Classic arithmetic operators are available to perform numerical addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. There are also relational operations that will compare two numeric values and return a Boolean expression, if it's true or false, let's say if it's greater or lower than, etc. We can concatenate two text strings with the string concatenation operator, which is the plus sign. In Rapid, we can define procedures and functions to properly organize and reuse our code. Procedures and functions can be defined uh, with uh, proc and mproc and func and nfunc keywords. Uh, functions must necessarily return a value, so for that uh, reason we must use, in this case, the return keyword. In addition, procedures and functions can include optional input arguments that will define or will be defined as a comma-separated list indicating the type of 
variable and its name. Rapid includes many built-in functions for different, uh, for different purposes. Here I only show the names of the functions that I have considered the most relevant ones and some simple example of their use. For instance, we can use math or trigonometric instructions with numeric values or bitwise operations with integer numbers, as you can see. Rapid can read up to 16 digital input signals and set the value of up to 16 digital output uh, signals of the robot controller. This type of signals allow, for example, to control a gripper or to detect the correct position of a part, let's say with a sensor. We can also show text messages on the flex pendant, that is the robot control part, let's say to show the status of our program. It, is also, or, or it has also functions to measure the time and get current date and read the system clock, as you can see here. Of course, like all programming languages, there are instructions to control the program flow, such as conditionals and jump instructions, that is the classic if and go to instructions. Loops allow you to repeat a set of instructions for a given amount of times. For that, we can use while or for keywords. We can break the execution of loops with the break instruction. If we want to make a wait, then we can use the wait time function, but we can also make a conditional wait for an expression to become true or until a digital signal takes an indicated value using the instructions indicated here. Finally, it's worth mentioning that the program flow can make jumps to interrupt subroutines. We can connect a digital input signal to a trap subroutine, as shown in the code example. First, we establish a connection between the interrupt handler and the trap routine with the connect instruction. Then, the iSignalDI instruction will enable the interrupt when the digital signal takes the indicated value. Well, in this video, I have made a preliminary introduction to ABB's rapid language. In the next video, I will explain composite data types that will allow us to define proper working conditions for robot motion instructions. Thank you very much.